because we do this all the time, you and me. We go on a walk and we talk about the things that are happening. The team has grown and we have continued to bring new people on board, including full-time photography and videography, both for the company and for clients. And we've also partnered with other subcontractors who support us in this work and are true experts along with us. So what that brings up for me as I reflect on 2021 is the importance of leaning into growth and allowing yourself to get uncomfortable with the things that you know that you need to do. Growth doesn't happen accidentally, at least not the kind of growth that you would want as a business owner or entrepreneur. The growth that you really want that is sustainable and keeps you going and growing is incredibly intentional and also causes some tension. The tension that it causes is the discomfort. It's a stretching. I always say that nothing impacts your value proposition more than changing circumstances. And so growth and the need for growth often comes from a change in circumstance. For many of us in business this year, that was because of COVID and the economic impact that had, the work from home environment it created, the tension that it created for business owners and employees to remind themselves what the value proposition is in the company and continue to engage with their consumer and customer. So circumstances changed, value proposition got impacted, growth needed to happen. And so as a company for us, we engaged in that by being even more hands-on with our clients being even more intentional with our marketing and our communication on video and on social media. And we have continued to bring not just new team members on board, but new services as well. So one of the things that we've done is to really pay attention to what our client needs and anticipate their needs, uh, which was all about communication internally and externally. And so this year is when I decided to create a new division inside of the company, which we call BBX. It's a marketing fulfillment division, really all focused on marketing, creating collateral, creating really great content for clients that connects back to their value proposition. So earlier I was saying that as an achiever, you tend to forget to look back on all the things that you've accomplished. And so part of this walk and talk process is to be able to look back a little bit and look at what we've learned, look at what we've accomplished and be grateful for even some of the things that didn't work out as well as we had hoped. In every business, there isn't just success. Even if you are on a growth trajectory and year over year you're growing, that's fantastic, good job. In that growth, there's tension. In that growth are micro failures and sometimes major ones as well. So allowing yourself to learn from those mistakes and allowing yourself to grow in the things that are really difficult is a mark of a really effective leader. So allow yourself to look back, allow yourself to learn from the things that were difficult and allow yourself to look forward knowing that you have this enormous amount of emotional intelligence I think the bottom line as a business owner is to continue to process and to continue to look at what it is that is working really well, where you have room for improvement, really pay attention to your team uh, because your team is your first customer. Your team is your first customer. I really need people to know that in business because we think about our consumer and our customer and that is great. Our customer and our consumer needs us to think of them but our team is our first line of defense. And as you empower your team, and as you create a space for belonging and a space of purpose uh, inside of your team, inside of your culture, these people are going to be fortified to be even more effective and even more productive in the work that they're doing. So be confident in the value proposition that you're creating. Be confident in the purpose statement that you have. Allow yourself to connect with the things that have done, that you've done really, really well, and allow yourself to learn from the things that perhaps didn't go so well. And make that learning and that experience part of creating an even more effective and intentional plan for 2022.